Up and tell us what you do here. My name is Wally Sito. I'm the president of the Guardian's Best Animal Rescue Foundation. Today we're at Party for Paws. Can you tell us about that? It's got two goals. It's called the Party for Paws Pet Fair and Adoption Day, which is first a celebration of animals of, as companions, as soulmates, as roommates, as family members. And second, the Adoption Day is that, you know, in the animal world, in the animal rescue world, uh, there are animals that need homes, that need forever homes. And we have rescues here with animals who are looking for uh, adoptive families. Each rescue has its um, due diligence process, its own screening process. So uh, with rescues, what you do is you apply, you meet the animal, they do reference checks, they do. They might ask you, like, who, who would your vet be? They kind of want to find out if you could afford to adopt an animal. They want to make sure that, above everything, that the animal benefits from being adopted, above everything. So the good thing about having an event like this is that you could go to a bunch of rescues and say and ask them questions for your own benefit, for, for your own educational benefit. So a lot of people have been talking about adopt, don't shop. Can you tell us a bit about that? Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to encourage people to adopt rather than buy from a breeder or buy from a store or buy from off Kijiji. Uh, the difference between adopting and say buying is that when you're buying, it's a commercial transaction. The, the, the seller is making money while the rescue is raising money and putting that money back into the rescue to help the other animals in their care. Wow, so if you adopt a dog, you're kind of like helping out the rest of the dog exactly, community. Exactly. Now, if people miss this event today, how can they find out more about adopting animals? Well, they could go to our website, guardiansbest.com. Uh, we have a Facebook page. We're also on Instagram. Uh, we, you know, we have a, a, a donate button. We're working on becoming a charitable status uh, organization, so eventually we'll be able to uh, give uh, um, uh, taxable receipts for people who donate. You can also check out um, other rescues. Um, it, from our perspective, um, even though you, if you do not res donate to us, uh, we're happy if you donate to other rescues because it's all good. It's all helped. It all, we're, we exist to help animals, and if you help another organization that helps animals, we're just as happy. I'm here with the ladies from Cause. Tell us a bit about what you guys are doing here. Cause for Cause. We are the makers of chic pet apparel. That is right, right? Don't take your pets for granted, folks. <laughs> Whether it's a puppy or a cat, we can trick your pet out. So this is where the most fashionable dogs come to get Absolutely. their stuff. Absolutely. If you love your dogs and you want to showcase your dogs, you can come here, we can mix and match. We can get you a line of bow ties, matching collars, matching leashes. We do bandanas. We can even customize it with your pet's name. What if I have a dress and I want it to look like my dog's bow tie? You give us the color, you send us the uh, picture, we'll do it up for you. Part of the proceeds go to two um, charities that are dear to my heart, Compassion Canada. So they help moms and babies and Guardians Best. So they're the ones that are organizing this whole thing and they sort of help rescues get their, find their homes. All right, we're here with Nikki yes. at K9 Haven. Tell us about your booth. So this is K9 Haven. We are a 100% volunteer-run, non-for-profit dog rescue. Anywhere that a dog is in need, we will do our best to make sure that we can find it a forever home here in Ontario. And why is it so important that people rescue as opposed to shop? So when you're rescuing a dog, you are actually getting, for the most part, you're getting a mutt. You're getting a better mix of dogs with better genetics, so you will be spending so much less on veterinarian bills and future problems that might arise. And how many years has K9 Haven been a part of Party for Paws? So this is actually our first year at Party for Paws, but we have been a rescue since 2013. Whoa. And in that time, we, we say we've rescued just somewhere over a thousand dogs. I'm here with Frank and Sonia. Is it your first time here at Party for Paws? Yes, and it's been a great time. We've had so much fun. Oh, what's your favorite part so far? Uh, he found a wading pool, and we were in there for about 45 minutes, so <laughs> he's a wet dog right now. And super refreshed. Is it your first time here at Party for Pops? Yeah, it is. And how'd you find out about it? I was actually just walking through the park and I kind of stumbled upon it. Well, I already have a dog at home. Her name's Finn, she's two, and I just wanted to learn more about pet adoption. Ah, 
Yeah, tell us about Finn. You love that dog. I do. She's so cute. She's a golden <laughs> retriever and she's full of energy. All right, so I'm here with Camilla and Sophie. Tell me, is it your first time here at Party for Paws? It is, yes. And how'd you find out about it? Um, Sophie's actually a rescue from Free Korean Dogs. Oh, amazing. So we try to go to all their uh, rescue events just to kind of support the cause, but we love rescue dogs, so we try to promote Adopt Don't Shop all the time. Ah. Okay. Now, there's a lot of fun things happening here today. You can do some shopping. So what kind of stuff are you going to get for Sophie today? Um, I'm definitely getting her Pupsicle from Pet Food Platters. We're a big ah. supporter of them because they do all natural raw food. Gucci's ready for the camera. Here we go. Is it your first time here at Party for Pops? Yes. How'd you find out about it? Uh, we were actually asked to do a photo booth. Oh. Yeah, as one of the celebrity pets. What's important about rescuing? It's always better to give, you know, dogs a second chance, right? As opposed to, you know, getting it from anywhere else. Uh, we are a volunteer with one of the groups here, so we do our part to, to come and promote them as much as we can. How is Gucci famous? So our Instagram handle is called the Floofy Woofs. We are part of a uh, dog group called GTA Dogs. You can find us on Instagram, you can find us on Facebook, and we're always meeting out for dog events and, you know, just meeting up in general. All right, so we've got Zach here. Zach, tell us about Sparky's Comrade. Sparky's Comrade is a small, boutique, full-service dog walking, training, and boarding company based here in Toronto. Oh, awesome. Now, we know this is your first year here at Party for Paws. How's it going so far? Fantastic. This is the most fun I've had in probably three years. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. We have a full dog playground here. We've got a ball pit. We have a tunnel. We have little agility things. It's been fun for us and the dogs. Do you have any quick tips for new dog owners? New dog owners, the thing I tell anyone is work with your dog, don't work against your dog. If your dog doesn't want to do something, don't make him do it. That might be a tip for life, actually. Actually, yeah, <laughs> with most things, you go with the flow. All right, what's your name? What brings you to Party for Paws? Uh, my name's Cassandra Conan, and I'm part of Toronto uh, Cat Rescue, and what brings us is that we love coming to these community events. We're part of the community, and we like showing up. That's amazing, and how many times have you been to Party for Paws? This is our first time. Oh, amazing! Yeah, yeah, so we're pretty excited about it. We uh, we were obviously at Meow Fest a little while ago, and we do other uh, pet, pet expos and things like that around the city, but this is our first time here, so it's fun. Wow, and what is the primary goal for Toronto Cat Rescue? What do you guys actually do? Yeah, so we are a foster, uh, a foster program, so we work with community, uh, other community groups around the, around the city. We work with Toronto Animal Services and we bring about 2,700 cats into the system and they get rehomed and adopted here in Toronto in the greater GTA. Yeah. And what is the biggest misconception people have about cat rescue? I think the biggest misconception is that there's an assumption that there's something wrong with the cats that we take in, that they might be, um, that they're either unhealthy or they're a little crazy. Right. And the reality is, is that we, we foster amazing cats, we bring amazing kittens into the system. I have adopted two through, through this program. Um, most of our foster homes have or foster fails. And uh, really, they're just, they're the best. And it's, you know, we adopt, don't shop. We absolutely don't uh, want people to be shopping for cats. There's enough in this world uh, who need homes already.